This is the tutorial for Model 1 Slotted Angle Block of the Mass Properties Analysis Activity. We'll go ahead and start a new part, Standard IPT. I'll begin with a 2D sketch on the XY plane. And I'm going to begin by drawing the overall width and the overall height of my part. So I'll start with a rectangle. I'll start at the origin. And without clicking again, I'm going to go ahead and put in the width of this part, which is 5.125 and then I'm going to press tab and I'm going to place the overall height of this part which is 1.75 inches. Press enter, I'll zoom out here. If I right click OK, I'm going to finish the sketch and I'm going to extrude. It's going to default toward me but what I actually want this to do is for manufacturing purposes I want it to go back into the part so that my z value will be negative. So I'm going to switch the direction to direction 2. And I'm going to change this extrusion to be 2.75. This is now the overall block. So that if you had to create model 1 stock, this is done. But if we're going to continue and do the slotted angle block, we're going to continue by making a slot on the top here. So I'm going to start a sketch with this top face. I'm going to rotate over here on the view cube 90 degrees to the left. And I'll start this with a rectangle. And I'm going to begin it on the left side of my part. I'm going to bring it over to the right. And this rectangle, or the slot, has a length of 5.125, the overall width of the part. And it has the slot has a width of 0.625. So I'll press tab and type in 0.625. Now I need to constrain this to the middle of the part. So if I come up here to the horizontal constraint, I can select the midpoint of my slot and the midpoint, if I move my mouse here, I'll, I'll find the midpoint of my overall block. If I select that, it will snap into the midpoint. I'll right click OK and I will finish sketch. I'm going to extrude the slot down. The overall depth is 0.75, so I need to change this to 0.75 and then I need to change the overall cut into the part, 0.75. So I'm going to select cut, and then I'm going to select direction 2, and I will place OK. I am then going to click chamfer, and I'm going to grab the sides first. The distance of those is going to be 0.75 inches. So I'm going to change that distance to 0.75. I'll click the outside edges here, and I will click OK. I am then going to click the second chamfer, which is going to be on the front and the back. So I'm going to select this front little lip here. This is going to be one inch. I'm going to change the distance to one. I'm going to select the front and the back. I'm going to click OK. And lastly, what I need to do is I need to go up here to where it says generic. I need to select this drop down menu. And I need to change this to mild steel. So if I go to where steel is located, I need to select on steel mild. And now it will change this so that if I go into File, I Properties, Physical, I can now see the properties of mild steel. So I'm going to update my part. And here I can have my density, my mass, my area, and my volume. Select the home view. And this is the completion of Model 1 Slotted Angle Block.